Hi guys, how do you do? I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today is day 21 of my one video blog a day for 30 days and you know I'm feeling a lot better. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm feeling like I'm personally feeling a lot more comfortable sitting here in front of you without makeup, without my hair done, without just just being a hundred percent me and putting it out there and it's starting to feel good I think it's starting to feel better than not whereas before I was feeling a lot of anxiety um, now I'm feeling somewhat comfortable so um, knock on wood I don't want to I don't want to jinx anything but I think I'm really making some progress so day 21 nine more days left and um, feeling pretty good so I just um, had a situation come up the other day and I wanted to, to talk about it. Um, I had somebody that I hadn't seen for a long time stop me uh, at the store and they were asking about you know what I was up to, this and that, and they asked me about shamanism. They didn't really know what that was. And I know a lot of people don't. Um, so that's kind of why I wanted to talk about it. So it was interesting because I, you know, 20 years ago did not know what shamanism was and I could see my past self in the face of this person that I was talking to at the store. So as I'm saying, well, shamanism is, is really, uh, you know, an ancient practice that works with Mother Earth and uh, the energy of all living things and it's, you know, this and that. And I could see them, you know, nodding their head in that polite way. Um, but I can see internally they're like, uh-huh, yeah, right, what else do you do? You know, that kind of thing. And I, I remember being like that a very long time ago, but being very, I don't know if it's judgmental or um, very skeptical. I think that's where it was for me. And I, and I hope that I was skeptical and not cynical. Um, but... I remember kind of being in those in those shoes as so I was wa look, watching her. So I kind of stopped myself and made a point of explaining it in a different way. And she said that that really helped her. So, you know, when I saw that look on her face, I kind of stopped her and I said, you know, it's kind of like when I do paranormal investigating, people get so excited when they hear that I do that. And they're like, oh my gosh, that must just be the greatest thing and how awesome. And it is, it's great and it's interesting, but um, what I tell people is when you go on a paranormal investigation, it's not like what you see on TV. Most people know about paranormal investigating from TV. And what you see on TV is usually 45 minutes that they've compacted um, based on, you know, like five days of work uh, filming. So the reason I bring that up is because there's so much more that goes into it than people understand. Um, and so what they see on TV is this really um, exciting, fascinating stuff that's happening. But it's all been kind of pieced together over, you know, a great period of time. So paranormal investigating is awesome, but it can be very, very, very boring. And 99% of the time, things can be explained. Um, as not paranormal. So it's not exactly what you think it is. It's not what you see on TV. And I guess I bring that up then as shamanism is not necessarily what Hollywood has made it out to be. People just know what they've either, you know, seen on TV or seen on the internet or in the movies. Um, and so when I kind of mentioned it that way, the person opened up a lot and was like, oh, okay, yeah, let me wipe my brain clear of what I've, that Hollywood version of shamanism and then she, you know, listened to what I had to say. And, and I think it was really, really helpful. So just, um, I guess my point is just know that if you're watching this right now and you really don't know what shamanism is all about, um, but you have an idea, just be open to know that, you know, your idea may have come from the wrong place. It's, it's not, um, it's not it's a very 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 caring practice um, shamanism is not necessarily viewed as a religion it's just a way of life it's a way of looking at um, things it's a way of honoring mother earth um, for allowing us to be here and, and be alive uh, it's a way of 
um, honoring all living things, whether it be uh, a roly-poly bug or a lion out in Africa um, or you sitting there. We're all, we're all equals. We're all living energy. Um, and we all have feelings and everybody needs to be treated with compassion and, and love. And um, personally, I would add to it that I think, you know, man, human beings have put themselves in a place through ego and greed where they feel that they have the right to um, treat other living things poorly or less than they would like to be treated. And I don't think that that's right. That's kind of a shamanic viewpoint. Um, I can't say that for all shamanic practitioners, but it, it fits in there. And, and that's truly how I feel that. Um, man has done a lot of damage to our earth and to other living things, plants, animals, um, and it's it's really it's really sad. So that's what shamanism really is. It's a very very caring, very compassionate practice. Um, there are never any sacrifices or anybody harmed in any practices. It's it's very much a matter of living here on earth and and honoring mother earth and the sky and the directions around us and um it's just good energy working a lot with good energy versus negative energy ridding yourself of the negative energy um and a lot of it is vibrational work coming from drums rattles flutes things like that um because it predates uh, I mean, thousands and thousands of years. So this goes back to like, you know, the beginning of, of human life. Um, shamanism was practiced. So you're talking about, you know, banging rocks together and making vibrations that way. So, I mean, it really is very primitive. Um, but it's all good, I guess is my point. So um, I hope that helps. Uh, I wonder if I'm forgetting anything. So it's like a vibrational kind of thing. And then the only other thing I guess I should add is is the practice of shamanism does include often traveling to other realities, other worlds, other, you know, you're in a different state of consciousness um, through meditation and journeying. No drugs necessarily. I mean, a lot of shamans actually do use drugs, but um, most, most don't. It's just um, a very healthy practice. Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, I just felt like I needed to share it because I could see on that person's face yesterday that they're like, mm-hmm, what are you doing? And it's nothing like that. So if you have questions, um, please ask. Please share them in the little comments down below and ask because if you have a question about shamanism, chances are there's 500 other people out there that have the exact same questions. So there are no dumb questions. Just ask away. Um, and that's it. I hope that you're having a great day. Uh, it's Wednesday, so happy hump day. Hope you have good plans for this coming weekend. Uh, be well, be happy, and be kind. Namaste, and I will see you tomorrow for day 22, okay? Bye!